guys, my name is Fear and I'm the Curly Sewister. Thank you for joining me. So another video, um, another fabric haul one. Now, I have been doing the So 5 Treat Yourself um, thing with myself. So I did actually make five pieces up, which I have spoken about in my Sunday sews. So I treated myself, unless it's something that I definitely know 100% I need. That's a huge gap in my wardrobe for these things and I need to buy them, then I'll buy them. Otherwise, if it's something like, oh, I quite like that, then forget it, I'm not getting it. So the first few, and this is gonna be a really quick vlog, hopefully. I'm aiming for under 10 minutes with this. Let's see if I can do that. So I have been wanting, some uh, the first sorry the first haul is from pound fabrics i haven't ordered for them for a little while now was it february january i think january or february the last time i made something uh, that last time i bought from them <coughs> was last time i bought from them and it was a pretty big haul but my points because you get points when you buy with them they were going to be running out soon and I think I had like three pounds and I realised when it was that transition from winter, like from that spring season where it's not enough to wear a coat but you just want a little cover up, I realised I've got dire, dire gap of long line cardigans in my, in my wardrobe and I've seen Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne make up a Helen's Closet, is it a Blackwood, Blackwood cardigan and I, ever since I've seen that I've wanted to make up a cable knit version of it. So it's quite a fitted cardigan and I wanted to make it long line because I don't have, I used to have some really, I used to have some black um, long line thin cardigans and I just, I wore them to death. So yeah, got that. Although cable and it's not very summer and it's quite warm now, but I'm sure there'll be cool evenings where that'll come in quite handy. So yeah, that my plan for that, and I got three meters of that from Pound Fabrics. Um, if I can, I'll put up how much it was if you want me to. But I think did I get? I might have got two meters actually, two or three meters of that. It's really soft as well. Really nice, soft cable knit black fabric so that was that I need to put that in the wash and then I also got a French terry but in a navy blue so I've got quite a few um, pieces that I've got a navy blue base and I thought to myself obviously the black's not going to look quite right with that so I got a, a dark blue French terry so yeah to make exactly the same thing to make a blackwood cardigan although I think you would have known in my other vlog I have actually bought the reconnect cardi from Pattern Emporium recently so I don't know which one to make up now it's a bought for choice <laughs> I might make up maybe this one with a reconnect one and the other one with the blackwood possibly let me know what your, your thoughts are but I just want a slim fitted long line cardigan so yeah the thing and you think probably think to yourself if you had the black wood why did you buy the reconnect cardigan and the reason is because it had a ruffle i know absolutely ridiculous admission to make but it had a little ruffle and i thought it might be slightly different and i think the pockets are slightly different as well look at me trying to justify this <laughs> I did, and it, they had a sale on, so I think it was like 20 or 30% off as well, so I thought, okay, I'll get that. So I used up my £3 voucher, and I got this and the black cable knit from Pound Fabrics at really decent prices as well. So hopefully, they're not even going to go in my stash, they're just going to get cut out, made up, boom, straight away. So that was those two. Now on to the Fabric Godmother haul. They had a little sale going on where they had certain pieces that were up to 40% off and so I went and had a little nosy and what did I see? 
I saw this fabric. This absolutely beautiful fabric. Now I saw Josie do a, do you know those reels that she does? Um, where she shows, I love those reels because she's so succinct and like shows us everything and tells us everything we need to know in those quick little reels. Um, and I saw this, I think this was maybe December time, November time, months ago I saw this and I fell in love with this fabric, absolutely fell in love with it. It was so beautiful and she said at the time it was one of a kind from like a really high-end designer, would not be getting it in again, it was dead stock fabric. Um, and I saw it and I loved it and I went on to, to see if I could get it and it was so expensive. I think it was like £30 a metre or something, something really, 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 really expensive and I just could not justify it. I thought I cannot justify 30 something pounds a metre for this fabric. So I was sensible, I forgot about it and then until... I went on that 40% sale and I saw this bad boy in that sale. Well, I added this to my cart so fast before you could even blink, this was added. I just love it. I absolutely love this fabric. Oh, it's got like, it's red. It's got these little, um, I don't know what you'd call them. You probably can't see it very well from so far. If I've got a picture, I'll put a picture up of, of, of it as well. Oh no, that was it because I add stuff to my stash hub, don't I? And they've got the magic input and I forgot to do it at the time. And obviously I'd got the last few meters of this. Um, and then when I went back to do it, they didn't, obviously it wasn't on the website. So I sent them a little email saying, I don't have any of the fabric composition or the weight or anything. Do you still have, do you archive it? Is there a way for me to get it? I didn't make a note of any of it. Um, and they sent me the details of all the stuff that I asked for, for the fabrics that, that I'd gone out of stock them. So yeah, I, I just, I don't know what to say about it. Um, beautiful. What I'm thinking about this precious fabric is maybe a Cambria duster because I get so much wear out of my Cambria duster. I think I've mentioned it before, I'm absolutely in love with the Cambria duster. And I just know I'll get loads of wear out of that. So much wear. It's not, um, It's it's got wool in here as well. So the back, that's obviously the wrong side. That's the right side. And it's quite, it's quite, th not thin, but you know when it's a lightweight fabric, but it feels like it'd be quite warm. So I think it'd be perfect really for like a transition, you know, September, October, I have this on as a throw on Cambria duster. Or if you think I should make something else, let me know what you think I should make with it. Definitely not clothes. Definitely want it as an outer garment. So yeah, let me know. It's woven as well, so there's no stretch to it at all. So that was the first one. And on the theme of thick, quite thick fabrics, this as well I got. So this was and I think I remember them saying this was like a one of a kind. Um, again, this Josie had put this up on a reel as well um, a couple of months ago, a few months ago. And she said people have asked for like a wool viscose. Um, and that's that they'd be, they'd be able to get some then. Um, but again, it was really expensive at the time. I could not justify it. But then this bad boy was in the sale as well. So I got this as well. Um, I got two meters of this and I'm thinking maybe a pinafore, but it's re it's wool, it's lightweight, it's not like those Danny pinafores that I've made, it's thin, <laughs> so it'd be fine as a pinafore, I think it'll be really pretty as a pinafore, I could wear like a nice white um, blouse underneath it, yeah, 
brown tights. Oh yes, it's giving it's giving pinafore definitely. It's very very soft. Um, yeah, so it's that one. That's just going to be so lovely and warm as well because it's wool, beautiful. This one I hadn't seen before, so I hadn't seen it on the reel or anything. Um, I saw it while I was browsing through the 40% discount sale items. Um, and it's a waterproof um, fleece backed fabric. Now I've bought the itch to stitch, I'll put the pattern up, coat. Um, and I've been thinking about buying some fabric that I've seen on Pound Fabrics uh, for that project. But nothing's really hit me. I've not really liked the look of any of them, to be fair. A lot of them are quite... Now, nothing wrong with this <laughs> at all. They're quite babyish, the print, some of them that I've seen, or really loud or out there. Now, I love loud and out there, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just want something a bit more muted <laughs> for outerwear, just so you could just wear it a bit more. It says me who's just shown you like a... A white, green, black, red, sparkly tartan that I'm going to wear as outerwear. But anywho, <laughs> this. I saw this, it's absolutely beautiful. Let me... And because it's fabric godmother, you know it's going to be really, really good fab, like really, really good quality as well. So I think I've got three meters of this as well. The fleece back is so soft, it's really, really soft. And that I'm hoping to make up into that coat, um, the itch to stitch coat that I should have put the picture up of. But I love that, absolutely love it. So that'll keep me really cosy. I mean, the green on there is coming up like a really dull green, but in real life, it's really. Can you... Oh, you can see it better then. There, it's really like a jewel green rather than a doll that's coming up on there so that one and then last but not least was the one that had the fault in it so i did um and ah about this one i was a bit mm, shall i get it shall i not get it um and this is a viscose lawn in rust and i think it ended up being 2.99 for half a meter and Oh, they've put something over here faulty 2.4 piece white lines salvage to salvage from cut refunded yeah so they gave me back 150 on that um soft shell that's it water resistant coating uh wool tweed lurex mix Senzo Tartan, Senzio Tartan Tweed, that original one's called, and then um, Knitted Wool Jersey. Sorry, I'm just looking at the little sheet that they've given me, so it's Knitted Wool Jersey. Oh, yeah! So, I wouldn't call that a jersey, really. I mean, there's a bit of give to it, so there is a bit of give to it, but I wouldn't call that a jersey, personally. I just think that's a woven with some mechanical stretch. So I'd still, I'd definitely use up um, a woven pattern to make that up because I just I don't think that's a stretch one. Anyway, I'm <laughs> getting so distracted here. And I've gone over the 10 minutes I wanted for myself as well. So this is, like I said, a viscose lawn Eco Vera in this gorgeous fabric. Now I just loved that orange with the corn flower blue just so pretty so so pretty they've said these white marks i can't even see these white marks are they referring to these little white marks do you think is that what it is i don't know oh this is a fiber mood fiber mood by polytext Stoffen or text standard one. So this is a really good quality fabric, isn't it? I just thought it was really unique with that rust, with that with the blue. Just really like that. So I didn't have to get well, I didn't have to get any of it. <laughs> but this was 
a kind of hey if i'm buying and if i'm paying delivery get this as well don't think this is my color i don't really think it is but i love it anyway so even if i made it in like a little v-neck dress or a little square neck summer dress um it's very soft i love it I've got some sandals that are this colour, so I just think it was so pretty. It's like a square neck. You know, like the Byham London Tamsin dress. If I managed to perfect that pattern, imagine making that up like a long maxi maxi length, midi length, and then wearing it with a pale blue, powder blue sandals that I've got. I've also got some orange sandals as well, but the powder blue ones look so pretty make a bit of an effort with my hair and earrings and whatnot. It'd be quite a nice going out outfit really, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that was my fabric haul from Pound Fabrics and Fabric Godmother. I'm really, really happy with every single thing that I bought. I absolutely love it all. Um, and if I get five more things made up, then I could treat myself to something, but I'm not doing it like five things right I need to start looking at stuff it's more if I find something at the moment I'm not I'm not get I'm not getting it I'm not getting it I'm not getting it until I've made five more things up I really really need to be strict to myself with that so I'm doing all right so far um yeah not doing so bad that huge humongous the haul that I showed you last time I managed to find space in a cupboard for it tidied some other stuff out and then I am actually getting through that so like I said if I get the Emma dress cut out that I mentioned in my other vlog um, that'll be a chunk gone as well and then a few because I'm going to hopefully if the towel works then a lot of those jerseys can be made up and that'll jerseys take up a lot more space in space anyway so hopefully if I get a few of them made up um win 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 chicken dinner win win the chicken dinner something like that anyway i'm gonna go because it's a beautiful day and yeah let me know in the comments what you've been up to and i'll catch you in the next one bye